Hey y'all, so we're in Florida and I just want y'all to see how clumsy my husband is. <laughs> Man, get out of here, man. My husband is so clumsy. First of all, this is what he does at home. <laughs> you know, because he works in landscape. Okay, so he brought these shoes <laughs> in the suitcase. I try not to nitpick, so I just let my husband do what he wanted to yeah. do. Jordan puts on the shoes, so now it's dirt in our suitcase. Here's more dirt. So I said, babe, take the shoes off, hold them up at the banister, and just hit them. So Jordan is... Bop, 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 bop. So I said, babe, sit, do them side to side. His shoe has fallen over the banister. This is so ghetto. I'm so mad at him. Not ghetto, but he's so clumsy. This is what he did. That's so clumsy. So clumsy. So now we gotta go downstairs, ask the people, hey, we mistakenly dropped a shoe on the rooftop. All right, let's see how this trip goes. Yeah. Oh, they believe it. Let them see it. Let them see How you feel, man? Why won't you just wear the other shoes? Gotta get my shoe. Oh my God. <laughs> we had to ask someone. She came right out with it. She got the dirt on Please. 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 <laughs> Please. <your mom. laughs> now we're off to... Uh, a park? Let's go. Childish. Say it again. I said, if I miss all of these, <laughs> don't put this up. <laughs> oh, oh. That's okay. That's all right. I got it. You already know I'm down with it. Go! Okay. Wanna see if I'm gonna walk away with something? Oh no! <laughs> oh, babe, that's okay. You move on, not basketball. Oh, oh, oh. How about that? You don't even give me props. Oh, oh, Shine so bright, you make me feel like that. Anything you want, I got you. I love you all around. You don't ever let me down. So can I get some more? You like to outdo me. <laughs> Go ahead, show me how it's done, man. Show me how it's done.
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Come on. Let's go. Oh my god. Slow down, slow down. Oh slow down, take your time. Slow down. Slow down, look, think about it. Vacation. Y'all know I like to give some some moment of inspiration. Yeah, you would tell me. I had to take my eyelashes off. Huh. Oh, it's my shot. It's how I'm shooting it. <laughs> it's my shot. It's how I'm shooting it. You still a winner in my eyes. Thank you, bud. Alright, so we're trying another one. Soft, soft. You gotta go soft. You gotta go soft. Underhand, underhand, soft. Sorry. Ah! That's set up as the bell. What? It can't bounce out, y'all. That's oh my what? Babe, that was Thank almost you. there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a blessed one. Not a pig. Oh, you can get these to uh. Nice hammer. Thanks a lot. Did you oh. enjoy your vacation, puppy? Yeah, I want to shoot some more shots. Shoot some more shots. I'm having fun, y'all. I told y'all I was going to give your mom an inspiration. Y'all know how I think about restoration. You got to rest, revamp, get what you need so that you are restored to create, build, think, innovate, elevate. Who I think I am? J. Cole? Go sit down somewhere. <laughs> It's so pretty. Look. Okay, so I am enjoying myself. Um, some lessons that I've learned. So in the book, I talk about being successfully single. As a single woman, I'm super proud of myself that I've taken the trips that were necessary for me to take and for me to retreat. Um, and I'm glad that I finally had like my own personal epiphany and confronted myself, which was to not wait for a man to have these moments with yourself. Okay, so that's one thing. And then I think I talk about it in the book also where, you know, you might as well get it out because what if your spouse is different? What if your spouse doesn't want to travel? What if you jump into having the kids like sooner than later? And it's always, you know, you can't have the escape, you know, of that alone time. And then when you get into the marriage, it's like you, you're longing for what you could have done while you were single. So I'm glad I did that. Not saying that I, you know, I'm not enjoying myself with my husband because I am. Which leads me to my next point. My husband noticed how hard I had been working, how focused I had been in it. And of course for me, it didn't feel like work because I enjoy what I do. And I'm just sharing this moment with you because sometimes we can completely bask in, yes, gratefulness and our working and all of that, but we can totally get so swallowed up in work to where we're like, oh, I forgot to rest. Like God did all of that 
in his seven days of work, but he made sure that he had a day of rest. And so I just wanna take this time to honor my husband, Mr. Jordan Kelly for saying, babe, you gonna have to, we, we going away. We going away, where you wanna go? And he sent me the money, it was like, book the flight and I'm looking for you to send me the receipts real soon. So um, I said all of that to say, it's a blessing to have people around you. And then um, also to mention my friends who also noticed like, Kiara, you need to retreat. You gotta take a break. Shamika was teasing me and was like, hey, um, the last time you went to the, your favorite resort was like three years ago. And I didn't realize that. Um, so I'm saying all that to say, make sure you have friends, family around you who are not intimidated by your strength. Like, you know how we post to say, oh, check on your strong friend, blase split. But some people won't even acknowledge the, the tiresome or the weariness that they notice in the strong friend because they may be jealous of their strength or intimidated by their strength. And I just have been reading and just, while I'm restoring, researching the, the importance and the beauty and covenant, and it is that we agree to look out for each other. And that's why I'm so excited about marriage. And I get a little emotional with just having this moment and confronting myself with making sure I appreciate who is around me when I don't realize the things that I need to realize. Um, so I just hope that you're inspired by everything that I post. It's not just me like, chasing for clout or me showing off everything that I do is to the glory of God and hoping to make the most of every opportunity and that's what the word says that's what we talk about in the book and I'm hoping to inspire you like bumps and all edges ain't right whatever it is live your life and do what you need to do to retreat and 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 I'm just so excited about it I'm so excited I just wanted to share that with y'all um, I think that was it. I had a little moment. I was laying here and just kind of praying, like, God, I thank you. I look a mess. But it's okay. Bye. So the reason I wanted to share that with y'all, because I know you're like, what is the point? The point is, sis, bro, if you need a break, take a break or you lose your mind. And not only that, it begins to eat at your health. So take a break and do what you want to do. Listen, if you read the word, pretty much all of God's people experience the good things in the earth. If the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, then surely, surely I can experience what's good. So I just want to say encourage y'all to do what you need to do. Um, and remember what I said. Some people are waiting on you to tap out. So make sure you got people around you that is not just doing for you, but will give you the truth. Like, you're going to take this truth. This is the truth, and this is what you need to know. Um, I remember I was on the phone with my mom the other day, and she was like, you wrong. You wrong. She said it like five times. You wrong. And as conversation, you wrong. She gave me the truth. And I'm so glad to have people in my life that will say when I'm wrong, but I know it's coming from a good place because some people just waiting to tell you you wrong just so that they can go back and say look i told her so and so and so and so but blessed is the person that has friends that are agreeing to just look out for you it ain't even nothing deep <sighs> make sure y'all got folk around you that's waiting for you to tap out sis i love y'all covenant is to agree to be committed to each other and I'm committed to my people. Who you committed to? Comment in the comment section. And don't judge how I look. I know my arm is looking broke. Ashy and all. Look at this ash. That is embarrassing. What is going on? <laughs> now the only thing that does worry me, excuse my ashy feet, are these little quick moving things right here. Now I want you to go on now. Going on. Going on now. Nah. Mm -hmm. Cause you can't see when they come and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Still kind of trying to do the health thing. So pretty. <laughs>